we doing? This is, I don't know where this is gonna be in this video, but I'm just about to start packing. Packing for what you ask? You probably already know. But I'm moving to Dubai in 11 days. So next Friday, the 2nd of April, it is currently Monday, the 22nd of March, exactly a month to my birthday. I'm born on the 22nd of April, in case you don't know. Now you know. So yeah, I said I would start packing, getting my stuff together, seeing what I wanna bring. I have 35 kg, I'm playing with Emirates. So, because I've flown with them basically every long haul flight I've done, like any time I flew to Australia when I lived there, I flew Emirates. When I flew home, I flew Emirates. So I built up miles and like status with Emirates. So basically it depends on what tier level you're at with Emirates. I think there's like blue, silver, gold, or bronze gold or something, but I'm silver. So I get 35 kg of luggage as opposed to, I think it's 20. So I get an extra 15 kg, which is stunning when you're moving. Like, I don't know when I'm going to be home again, to be honest, because of world situations. And I'm sure I've talked about this in this video already, but I am working fully online. So I have no need to be living in a country where there is a pandemic, where I am on lockdown, like I don't, I am privileged and lucky enough to not need to be here for work and to be fortunate enough to still be working online so that I can afford to move. I don't even know where to get started, but I feel like once I start, I haven't even unpacked fully from Brazil. So there's that <laughs> because Brazil was all summer clothes. So yeah, let's get packing. I'm just gonna bring my suitcase in here and see how we go. I'm moving country. Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so it is the week I'm moving to Dubai. <laughs> what? So yeah, this is like the week preparation to me going. You are going to see all the behind the scenes because I'm keeping a big secret on my Instagram and my YouTube, but I can still film. That's the good thing about YouTube. So something very, exciting just arrived if you don't know now you know um or if you haven't seen if you're on tiktok you've definitely seen this brand truly beauty and do you know what the most exciting thing about this entire package is i got no customs and the package wasn't even opened by customs because the seal is like completely closed that's fantastic, there was no customs, this came from America. It's going to be annoying, but I'm filming a TikTok. Do you know why I bought this stuff? Because going to Dubai, I was like, right, I wanna treat myself to all of these products. I got so many things, I don't think you're ready. Um, this is not sponsored, because I know they're doing a lot of sponsored content with YouTubers at the moment, but, oh, I'm so excited. I think I got a pack, like a value pack or a bundle so apparently this is, I can smell it before even opening it. So this is the, oh my God, this smells like watermelon. Sorry, look at this. Like, isn't that the most prettiest thing? So this is the Buns of Glory, which is a smoothing butt butter. <laughs> but like all these products don't have to just be used on your butt or your boobs or whatever. Like you can use it on your whole body, but they just, that's the way they market it. But the, Sorry, this feels heavy. The lid is heavy, like it's quality, like it's thick. It's not light, it's not flimsy, but all these products are vegan. They're free of harsh chemicals. Vegan, clean, high-performing, animal, cruelty-free, real fresh, made in the USA with global ingredients. So what really stood out to me is this brand is trying to make like clean beauty very aesthetic you know the way when you think of clean beauty you think of like very minimal packaging and very minimal like all this minimalistic stuff whereas this brand is trying to be more like not that way if that makes sense and this is the butt polish then again this is like a watermelon vibe oh, like look at that like obviously it's came from america so she's a bit shaken up um, 
because she's traveled across the world. She's done some traveling like I will be doing this week. And then we got, this is the boob one, which I'm very excited for. They all these stuff like firm and like, they're just really good for your skin and they have no toxins, which is great because when you put stuff on your skin, sorry, not me flashing you. When you put stuff in your skin, your body soaks it in. So like if the products have a load of toxins, then, oh my God, this one's called acai or boobies. And it smells like acai. So this is acai dragon fruit retinol. We love retinol in our body care. I always make peppermint tea or green tea and I forget that it's there and then it goes cold. What else did I get? I got these two serums. Everything's individually bubble wrapped. It came in like, when did I order it? I ordered it some like random Friday or Saturday night. I was like lying in bed, doing some online shopping at like midnight and I had wanted this stuff for so long because I saw it all online on TikTok and then I followed them on Instagram because I was like this brand seems like a bit of me and it's a new brand so I'm like hopefully you know they'll contact me and we'll work together if I like the stuff obviously I haven't tried it yet but it looks really pretty but I'm going to use it all for a month and kind of document it maybe I'll do like I used Truly Beauty for a month and like show my skin and my body before and after would that be interesting would you like that let me know I ordered it late at night. I used Honey. This is not a sponsor, but I used Honey. You know, that web extension that gets you discounts. And I got like 20% off. So I got a bundle, which was reduced. And then I got 20% off my entire order. And I got free shipping. And I didn't get customs. So anyway, the next thing I got is this. It's the Buns of Glory butt serum but obviously you can use it anywhere in your body again it has watermelon vitamin e apricot orange flower and wheat protein boost and i'm assuming this oh my god it smells like watermelon then i got the acai or boobies this is boob serum so acai dragon fruit retinol apricot and antioxidant boost again and has the same acai scent so i am thrilled and all the products, like it's all glass, like it's, it feels heavy, like weighty. Good morning. I am a mess. <laughs> Do you wanna know what's happening right now in my life? Not last night, but the night before my Instagram account was hacked or was um, a victim of phishing or something. And long story short, I can't get back into it. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, but Rebecca, have you tried this? But Rebecca, have you tried that? But Rebecca, what about this? No, 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 you don't understand. I can use a computer. I, like, and that isn't, like, I'm very good with tech. I spent four hours trying to get it back. And then I woke up yesterday morning and I was like, Rebecca, you have two choices. You're going to Dubai on Friday, which is tomorrow. You're going to Dubai on Friday. Are you gonna spend the next two days, week, whatever, stressing about this Instagram account, emailing people back and forth, customers, like Instagram has no customer service. Trying to contact, I had to report my own page for harassment. That was the easiest way to get in some, like I filled out a form. Obviously I wasn't saying I was harassing myself. I was, I explained in the form that I was actually locked out, but like it's the only, like you can't, there's no email, you can't just email Instagram, you can't just call Instagram. They don't have like a live chat situation, which they should. And basically long story short, I was like, right, Rebecca, you can stress about it or you can just make a new Instagram account. You know, new vibes, new energy, you're moving to Dubai. I kind of feel like it's the universe like shedding, like I'm like, it's like spiritual awakening vibes. Like I'm like new Instagram account. I've had the other one since 2010. So my name on Instagram is now Rebecca Short with a ugly underscore at the end because I had Rebecca Short. Like my old username was just like at Rebecca Short. It was so oh, I loved it. But anyway, I have an underscore at the end now. I will link it down below. So if you're wondering why hasn't this girl been updating her Instagram, I actually have. You're just not following the right page. So do you know what? I'm actually, like, it's, <laughs> I was saying to myself yesterday, I was like, Rebecca, if the worst thing in the world going on in your life, um, right this second, is that you have to make a new Instagram account because you've lost your other one, like, that's a very good position to be in in life. 
So that's the first update. Second update, lips. They're actually gone way down now. They were way more swollen this morning. The antibiotics I was on for my toe. <sighs> Went to the doctor about the toe. I told you about the toe in the last vlog and I was soaking the toe in salt water. Went to the doctor last week and she was like, you need antibiotics. So I was like, fine. I, I'm not really an antibiotics gal if I don't need to be. So I was like, fine. When I had antibiotics, they drove my allergies, my urticaria absolutely crazy. So I ran the doctor and she's like, oh yeah, you probably shouldn't have been on penicillin. So she put me on doxycycline. <laughs> Don't Google the side effects of antibiotics if you go on them. It's just not good for you. <laughs> so then I went on doxycycline, but obviously I had taken the penicillin for like two days. So that is still in my system. I think that stays in my system for two weeks. Therefore, I have random outbreaks of, I had hives, my whole body was covered in hives. My lips actually only swelled this morning. They were actually good until today. Then I got my COVID test this morning and I don't know if you can hear, but I'm very nasally. I don't have COVID, I do not have COVID. Not the day before I go to Dubai, thank you very much. But because of the toe, my doctor had told me like, keep it dry and like don't wear like, cause I always wear fluffy socks. Like I'm a fluffy socks kind of girl. Oh yes, I was looking for said fluffy socks. So I am a fluffy socks girl, so I always wear fluffy socks. And she was like, you know, try to keep the toe dry, like wear flip flops, like very minimal sock usage. So I think because of that and the weather in Ireland is crazy at the moment, like it was freezing yesterday. It's like 20 degrees today, it's sunny. And then there's snow forecast for next week. So I have a cold, like I'm all nasally, I'm all blocked up. I have Googled the symptoms of COVID and the symptoms of the flu and like cross reference. But like my throat is fine, my chest is fine. So I washed last night for about half an hour. I had a hot whiskey because just Ireland things. I had so much vitamin C. I have vitamin D supplements that I started taking again. These are like quite strong ones because apparently vitamin D can help with urticaria. And then I got this really random um, supplement. It's an immune system one and immune support. So I'm really just thriving. So I had my COVID test this morning, which was stunning, 100 euro. Um, up the nose, back the throat. We love to see it. So I know you might be thinking, Rebecca, wait, is this vlog not about moving to Dubai? Like. Why are you not jumping around the room? It's like, well, maybe I'm not jumping around the room because I feel like shit. Like I feel so, do you know when you have a cold or a flu and like all here is sore and all down here, like the rest of my body feels perfect, but it's just there. So I'm just trying to dose myself up on like vitamin C. That is me. That is my current situation the day before travel. Once I get this COVID test back and it's negative and I get all my packing done, I just wish I could click my fingers or like hire someone <laughs> to like go into my room, pack everything, clean it all and have all, all that done. Like I've been saying for a week, like, oh, I'm gonna have all my packing done. So like the day before I go, I can just chill. And here I am, the day before I go, my eyes are sore, my lips are swollen. I feel like a cripple. Joe, it's just, it's hit me. And I'm like, no, 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 I don't understand. I haven't got a cold or flu in a year and a half, maybe. And then the two days before I go to Dubai, I start feeling like shit. Oh my God. So yeah, that is the vibe today. The weather is stunning. There's blue skies, sunshine. Like, yeah, last day in Ireland for this, like this is this is a, a concrete plan, like Dubai, like I don't know, right? I feel like Dubai, and you might think I'm crazy, but I feel like it's just gonna do, it's gonna make my life, it's just where I need to be going. Like I feel like the universe has me on this path right now and I'm just so excited. And I do think the whole losing my Instagram was like a shedding, it was like a cleanse, it was like a juice cleanse like losing my Instagram and making a new one. And it's like a cleanse, like like people's stories are coming off, people's posts are coming off. Like it's absolutely phenomenal. 
So yeah, I really recommend it. If you want to do a cleanse, like juice cleanses, no. 2021 is the year of the Instagram cleanse. Make a new Instagram. Whoever wants to re-follow you will follow your new one. You know, it's, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. And I'm like, I just want to feel better because I feel like there'd be nothing worse than flying and like sniffing and everything because everyone would just think you have COVID. You know, if I sneeze in an airport, not a good look, not a good look. So um, one of my last days in Ireland and in true Irish fashion, it is pouring rain. So I said, what amazing piece of vlog footage to get than this vibe right here. Von Dutch, baby. Don't ask. Guess who got a negative COVID test? COVID test. <laughs> me. It was me. I know. Wow, I really kept you in suspense there. I got a negative COVID test. Even though I am nasally and I have a cold, it is not a COVID. So we are thriving. I'm in the middle of packing now, uh, day before, classic, classic, classic Rebecca, classic Taurus, classic putting it off. So yeah, in the middle of packing, no, I'm not gonna say in the middle, I'm actually nearly done. Um, did I want to do this last week so I wouldn't have to do this today? Yes. Was that realistic? No, because I had my body care products. I had my skincare products. I had a lot, so let's take you through. We have, this is a pile of stuff that I need to go through, see what I want. And we have a case here, it's the airport outfit, vibes, and then, oh, and then we have another case here because I'm actually bringing two cases with the plane. So I'm bringing, this is in the plane, this is in the plane, and this is my carry-on. So in the carry-on, we have the things that might break. So drone, a shit ton of incense, as you can see. We have my salt lamp. We have my microphone for my podcast because I'm relaunching my podcast as a confidence podcast. We love to see it. Then we have a shit ton of tampons um, because apparently I'm very particular with my tampons. I like the Tampax Pearl. So we got a load of those, some eyelashes, my Ugg slippers, my gym shoes, more shoes must go in there. Did I mention I love my new tripod? So, <laughs> disregard the mess at the moment. My room is a mess, you know, packing. So, I have managed to fit, might as well enjoy the dressing gown now while I can. I have managed to fit all of my makeup into one very cute Ted Baker bag. Shout out to Barbara for that one. But yeah, I decided I wanted to really not bring too much makeup. So I have everything in here. I mean, Dubai has Sephora and um, a massive Charlotte Tilbury shop. So yeah, Essential, I the only eyeshadow palette I brought was this Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm a big fan of Charlotte Tilbury, even though they haven't sent me a PR in a while, which I'm salty about, but anyway. <laughs> My big ass toiletries bag. So inside here we have some body care, some skincare, perfumes, contacts, and then we have a stunning medication. It's actually not medication, it's supplements. So I have vitamin B, vitamin D, an immune thing. My spare contacts so I can see you. Hello, my name is Rebecca Short and I have minus 5.75 in eye, in vision. So if you know anything, you'll know that I can't see a lot. <laughs> Then we have my cute Australia teddy. And then I just have, oh, these lads. I ordered from Truly Beauty. Oh yeah, I told you that. Oh yeah, we did a haul. Anyway, um, so I must bubble wrap these ones, but I have the rest of my case. I have my straightener, I have my blow dry thing. I need to have a shower, wash my hair. I have my silk pillowcase that is absolutely coming to Dubai. I can't live without her. I got her for Christmas and I love her. So, and then we have this baggie here. Oh, this is all my daytime skincare then. So we have a fresh Dermalogica eye vitamin C serum, which we love. I have loads of like patchology stuff. I have my oil cleanser, like loads of products. I'm running low on night cream. So my Charlotte Tilbury night cream that I adore, which is why I'm salty with Charlotte Tilbury's PR team. 
They sent me this, right, before Christmas. 120 euro, but it's phenomenal. But it's 120 euro. So like, did I ask for a top up? Yes. In the world of influencing, YouTubing, PR and everything like that, like when I talk about these things, I'm not getting paid. So usually what the PR company does is they keep you stocked up on the products. So, you know, you'll keep mentioning them, even though you're, it's not like a paid ad, but they keep you stocked up. So hopefully you use their products over other people's products. So they sent me the night cream, which I was very grateful for. And I'm gra very grateful for all the products I get. And yes, I could spend my own money on them. But when I'm talking about them in videos and online, like skincare is one of my content pillars. So when I'm talking about skincare, like it's free advertising, you know? So, you know, I know my worth. I know that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. People get salty about PR and stuff, but it's like, it's literally media, it's literally marketing, it's literally advertising. But anyway, they sent me this stunning night cream, which I adore, but it's 120 euro. I'm moving to Dubai, you know? Like, that's some rent for me. So, am I gonna repurchase this? I don't know, like there probably is very good night creams that are less than 120 euro and i suppose in dubai i wonder if charlotte tilbury more expensive or less expensive than dubai and that's kind of it like i'm really nearly packed i was just looking at handbags i have this very cute um dkny situation and yeah i just i'm nearly ready to go which is exciting it's only what time is that i think it's mm, where's my I'm thirsty. It's, I think it's like nearly 7 p.m. So I'm not doing bad. Usually before I move countries, I'm up to like 11 o'clock at night, the night before I leave. Also, do I have any more news? No, I'm so excited. Like wait till you see my apartment. You all know I'm doing an apartment tour. And yeah, I'm just excited to take you all on this journey with me. No one has guessed that I'm moving to Dubai as well. A few people have guessed that I'm moving to either Brazil again, America, Bali, but no one has actually guessed Dubai, but like Dubai is the most accessible um, to move to. And I'm excited, like Dubai, I feel like Dubai is like New York, but in the sun. Like I feel like that that's the energy. I don't know what the energy is, but I'm excited. I have my salt lamp, I have my incense, I have my sage, so I'm gonna cleanse the Airbnb of any funky energy when I get there. Light my incense, Bath and Body Works is in Dubai. I'm gonna go candle shopping. Like the things that we can do together now, the things that we'll be able to do, like I can vlog again. Like Dubai is open. I just have to wear a mask, but like, that's fine. We'll get over it. Also my COVID test went negative. I told you that already, but I'm so excited. But I was still like, you know me, I'm like, no, I'm not attracting that, like energy and universe and everything, but I'm like, you know, I was like the universe like i was like if i'm if i test positive like that is the universe being like rebecca hard no on the dubai situation um but i was like surely the universe would have given me a hard no before like the day before i go like that's just rude and then i was like i did get moldavite though so it could be the moldavite but i've actually lost my moldavite i don't know where it's gone like it was only a tiny rock um but i've lost her in my bedroom so don't know where she is um but yeah i'm negative anyway so i can go on the flight with my negative test wave it in the air <laughs> wave the test in the air wave your yeah i'm so excited like new city new vibe i feel like i'm gonna thrive like i feel like my life in dubai is just wait like i'm the butterfly like the butterfly like i'm about to come out of my shell not that i've been in a shell but i feel like dubai is just gonna be a new wave like I'm excited like a new city you know I love the vibe of a new city like I've lived in Dublin I lived in San Diego while I was like a J1 but I still live there I lived in Sydney I've lived in Brazil and now it is time to do Dubai let's see what Dubai has to offer I've been working a lot the last month, working, saving, putting things in place so that when I get into, like, I'm just going to make it work in Dubai, you know, people are like, oh, Dubai is so expensive, yeah, like, life's what you make it, so let's make it rock, 
<laughs> so yeah, um, I've set up my confidence coaching, editing, social media strategist. I'm just putting in work on ease and I've been working for other people, but now it's time for me to thrive. Now it's time for my YouTube channel. Like, I swear to God, in like this YouTube channel is about to take off to the sky, you know? Um, so I'm excited to bring you to Dubai. We're gonna do food videos in Dubai, feel like a full day of eating in Dubai. I'm gonna, I have a plan for like another video for Dubai. Maybe I might do a calorie challenge or a food challenge. And like Dubai is apparently like where people go for food. Like apparently the food in Dubai is like unmatched. Like it has like world class, like every type of food you want, you can get in Dubai, whether that's Mexican, poke bowls, kind of like um, big American chains like Shake Shack or Cinnabon. And then you have like middle, middle, blah, 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 middle Eastern food and you can get like really good Italian food and you can just get really good quality food in Dubai. And obviously you all know I'm a Taurus. I love food. You all love the food videos. It's a good, it's a good mix. So yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering now because I don't want this video to be too long. So I'll check in with you probably tomorrow morning, to be honest. Okay, okay, we are in Dublin airport. I have my mask off because I'm drinking a monster. I mean, what else would I be doing? And yeah, got absolutely reefed at security. I had all my liquids in my own clear bag. Your man hands me a sandwich bag that is probably this size. <coughs> I was like, no, you have to put them all in there. So my Dermalogica oil cleanser is gone. My vitamin C super facialist. Day moisturizer is gone. My pharmacy cleansing balm is gone. My hair oil, my Lux oil system professional is gone. Can't remember what else he took, but it was kind of traumatizing. But I did buy new skincare. I bought Kiehl's. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go to my gate because I'm boarding. My flight's boarding literally now. I love when like nothing's open in the airport, only WH Smith. So I went in there, I got a chicken and stuffing sandwich. It was like a ready-made one, but it was still really good. And a protein bar. And yeah, I'm about to get on this flight. Like seven hours is so fine. I had to show proof of my COVID, negative COVID test when I was checking in. My bags were slightly overweight, but shout out to the sound Emirates girl who let me on through. And then the guards stopped me. So the guards were just before you went into security. They stopped me and they asked me what my purpose of travel was. Did I have proof that I was moving? So I showed them all the bits but yeah I did get stopped because I've heard of loads of people traveling like not getting stopped I saw a TikTok where a girl was like no you don't get stopped um and I've seen a few people like travel and say that they weren't getting stopped but I most definitely did but it was so fine they were sound I'm so excited to get on this flight to Dubai okay okay I have arrived in Dubai I arrived in late last night I just crashed straight away and yeah, this is the end of this video. I am just standing outside my apartment now. So you all know the next video is gonna be my first day in Dubai vlog and apartment tour. So I hope you're ready. Thank you for always supporting and coming on this journey with me because baby, it's about to get interesting. So yeah, thanks for sticking through the lockdown vlogs and me vlogging from my bedroom and all that stuff. And I'm so excited to bring you on this journey.